Now Brady steps away, and Arrington's got him. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I played my best football last year. I played solid, but I know so much more now, and I'm so much more mature. In my approach, I think I'll be a lot better than I was last year. So. I think LeVar Arrington is a heck of an athlete and a great kid and a fun guy to coach. And if you don't like LeVar Arrington, either as a person or as his coach, I'm in the wrong business. He but he feels that, you know, maybe he knows a little bit more than the old man knows. And every once in a while, you got to slow him down and say, hey, look, kid, if you want the car tonight, <laughs> pay it. All right, you ain't going to get the car tonight unless you do it my way. Bart, you know, does, does Joe like you? I think Joe doesn't like to show me that he likes me all the time, but, uh, yeah, Joe likes me. <laughs> Out to the left side. And they will give it to Canada and it's LeVar Arrington with a hit. Uh-oh. Not hard to find the All-American. L.A. right here comes in. And you know what? I, I kind of got a little handle on this guy. L.A., <laughs> showtime. Showtime. Right? Showtime. First quarter. Candidate on a delay. Draped all over him is LeVar Arrington. Showtime. One of those players, Brad, you don't even have to circle. If you can't find number 11 on the field, you don't know anything about football and knowing how to find a good player. This guy, your eyes just get glued to him. You can't take him off on every play. You just want to see what he's going to do. That's what Lin Swan was talking about before the game. Even though he's a marked man now, he'll be double teamed a lot. It hasn't seemed to affect him so far in this ball game. A loss of a yard, and it's second down and 11. Here's a swing pass, a dangerous one. North cut, almost dropped in the end zone by... Guess who? Motion, it's Key Smith to fire it. Had it tipped by LeVar Arrington. Is you don't expect <laughs> for an All-American linebacker to look you up. LeVar. Attitudinal problems. Need a big day from him today. You know you're going to see a big day from LeVar Arrington. The number this kind of thing is going to be called. This guy's a very aggressive football player. He's not trying to injure the punter. Here he comes, lightning quick, beats the blocker right in the middle of the quarterback. And what does he do? He gets up and he says, I think I'm going to help this guy up. Come on here, John, let me help you up. Man. Have you ever been chased by a grizzly bear? You know grizzly bears can outrun thoroughbred horses. So can this guy. Look at LeVar Arrington. That's called closing speed. Shotgun on 33, Arrington. Red and brought down inside the 10 by Julius Dixon's desperation reach. At the 18, Arrington almost had his second interception. Clock winding, 15, 14 seconds. Here comes the 52-yarder, and it's blocked. Arrington. Putting the finishing touch on an amazing day of highs and lows for him and for Penn State. Almost got himself thrown out of the game. In the first half, he comes back, almost intercepts twice, but he preserves the day for the Lions with a blocked field goal here. In big games, big-time players, Make the plays. Arrington comes from 10 yards deep, does his 40-inch vertical jump, and gets a piece of the football. Miami linebacker Dan Morgan told the media that the Canes linebacking core is every bit as good as Penn State's, to which Penn State linebacker LeVar Arrington responded, who's Dan Morgan? McPartland is big fullback who doesn't get it often, but loses the ball at Karam's downfield and goes out of bounds. Look at the hustle. Right arm is going to hook behind McPartland. Ball comes loose. Boy, that's just a great natural play at the end of it. He gets beat and then makes the play coming back. Fortunate for Miami, it got out of bounds. Takes a look. Running out of time. He's on the run. Rudely interrupted was that run by LeVar Arrington, who throws him down. Popped in the other way and again. Hit for a loss and did LeVar. 
was last week against Purdue, and that's a bad sign. Oh, he's got Belisari. And now Arrington is accepting the Diggs challenge. Someone you can bet on that sideline says, listen, Niall Diggs has come to play. When will number 11 show up? And the way to show up your star players, bring them one-on-one. -on -one. LeVar does the leap, a kind of a hurdle or a leapfrog, whatever you want to call it, and you're not going to run away from that guy. The LeVar leap, ladies and gentlemen. Illinois <laughs> will never forget it. And neither will Steve Belisari. For the Buckeyes on that previous play, Jonathan Wells blocked and no time as LeVar has come to the dance, ladies and gentlemen. Arrington switches to the left <laughs> side to come again against the shotgun. Belisari not going to get away. So Sandusky with a late shift on LeVar Arrington. An illegal sub, and that uh, gave Belisari. Ooh, what a slam by Arrington. That was a great play. That wasn't a bad play. Belisari's going to decide he'd rather run down on kickoffs than play quarterback for Ohio State this year. Let's go back and take a listen and watch LeVar Arrington deliver this knockout punch. Jeez. 